Ever felt drained after interacting with someone? It could be due to dealing with a narcissist. Now you might ask, what exactly is a narcissist? Well, let's delve into it. Narcissists are individuals who possess an inflated sense of their own importance and a deep need for attention and admiration. They're often troubled by secret self-doubt and a lack of true self-worth. This is known as Narcissistic Personality Disorder, or NPD for short. Narcissists have a pattern of behavior that includes manipulation, exploitation and a disregard for others. This can be emotionally draining for those around them, but understanding these traits can help us anticipate their behavior and avoid falling into their manipulative trap. It's like playing chess. Once you know the moves of your opponent, you can strategize and protect yourself more effectively. So remember, knowledge is your armor in this situation. Knowing what you're dealing with is half the battle won. With a clear understanding of narcissism, it's time to establish your boundaries. Boundaries, you see, are more than mere lines in the sand. They're your personal fortress against the manipulative behavior of a narcissist. Setting firm limits on what you will and will not tolerate is paramount. It's like drawing a map where you clearly mark the territories that are off limits. But setting boundaries isn't enough. You must communicate these boundaries clearly and consistently. Remember, vagueness is a narcissist's playground, so be direct, be consistent, and leave no room for misinterpretation. Enforcing these boundaries is the final and perhaps the most challenging step. It takes courage and resolve, but it's essential. If a narcissist crosses a boundary, you must be prepared to take action. This could mean distancing yourself or seeking professional help. After all, boundaries are not just lines, they are your defense. Scene script. Narcissists are masters of emotional manipulation. The key is not to play their game. Emotional detachment is like a shield for your well-being. It's not about being cold or uncaring, but about avoiding the vortex of a narcissist's drama. You see, narcissists thrive on emotional chaos. They're like puppet masters pulling at your heartstrings. But if you can step back, take a deep breath, and detach yourself emotionally, their tactics lose their power. Think of it like this. If a narcissist's drama is a fire, your emotional reactions are the fuel. Stop feeding the fire and it will eventually burn out. Don't take their provocations personally. Remember their actions and words are a reflection of their troubled psyche, not a measure of your worth. Now let's talk about the grey rock method. Picture a grey rock, unremarkable, uninteresting, something you wouldn't give a second glance. That's the persona you adopt when dealing with a narcissist. You become emotionally unresponsive, dull and boring in their eyes. Your responses are neutral, monotone and factual, devoid of any emotional triggers they can latch onto. In essence, you become a grey rock, an object too uninteresting to warrant their attention. This doesn't mean you're compromising your vibrant personality. It's a strategic move, a method of self-preservation. Remember, it's not about winning an argument, it's about preserving your peace. Dealing with a narcissist can be draining. It's crucial to take care of yourself. This isn't just about surviving an encounter or a relationship. It's about thriving despite the challenges. No matter how tough the situation may be, never forget to prioritize your well-being. Remember, self-care is not selfish. It's a necessity. Engage in activities that promote relaxation and emotional well-being. This could be as simple as reading a book, taking a long walk, or meditating. Stress reduction is also key. It's important to find healthy ways to let out stress, like exercise, yoga, or even just talking to a friend. It's about finding what works best for you and making it a part of your routine. But remember, you don't have to go through this alone. Seek support from your friends, family, or a therapist. Having someone to talk to, someone who understands and supports you, can make a world of difference. Sometimes we all need a little extra help. If you find yourself struggling to cope with a narcissist's behavior or if it's causing you significant emotional distress, it may be time to seek professional help. Therapists can provide guidance and support, helping you develop healthy coping mechanisms and navigate your relationship with the narcissist. Remember, you are not responsible for the narcissist's behavior. You can't control how they act, but you can control how you respond. Your well-being should always come first. Come.